Hey everyone, today I'm going to tie for you a, a killer smallmouth hair jig. Uh, I call it my Mad Tom pattern. It works really well any time of the year, but um, especially in the colder water. Um, let's get started here. Uh, make a few wraps right on top of the lead. This is 210 denier, flat wax, nylon, black. Uh, the jig that's in the vise is a 332nd ounce walleye head, really good in the rocks. Okay, first thing we're going to do here is some gray bucktail. Um, not a lot, half the diameter of a pencil. And we're going to do this in two parts. So, the length you want on this stuff will be about twice the size of the jig. So, one, two, rough. Doesn't have to be exact. So, I'm looking right around here is where I must trim it. Get some of these shorter ones out. And you want to push this around the entire jig. I need some more. Lining up with that. Okay. It's pretty good. Once we got that, make a few wraps just to secure it down. Now, next material is going to be black bucktail. This is going to be a little different. And if we want this shorter, pull out the real long ones. Now we want this to go maybe three quarters of the way uh, down towards the, the bottom of the gray. I should say an easier way would be three quarters the length of the gray. We want it a little bit shorter. And remember always to cut the, the back end, the end that you cut from the tail. Don't cut the very tips or you'll ruin the action of the bucktail.
black is hard to see. Um, normally when I'm working with this, I have a profile plate that lets me see um, exactly where the black is, but work it around. And if you don't get it all around one or two tries, don't worry about it. Uh, just add a little bit like I have to do here. It happens. Um, normally the hair will follow the thread around, but uh, when you're using this thicker thread, uh, it doesn't always happen. What I like to do is pull the longer pieces out and even them up on the bucktail. pretty decent. Now, the next step is crystal flash. Uh, the crystal flash is up to you. What I'm going to use is a black pearl because I don't want, I want it to have some effect, but I don't want it to be really bright. And you won't, it's going to be even hard to see here in this video. You'll see just a little glints of it. That's how it is in the water also. Um, you don't have to use it. I prefer to use, I have a little more confidence in it. And when I tie in my crystal flash, what I do is I make two wraps. Instead of putting two pieces in, I make a, uh, wraps with just one piece and then fold it over. By folding it over, it makes it that much more tougher and harder to pull out. In fact, um, you'll lose the jig before the flash will pull out on you. Did it to that side. And you want this flash, if you're going to add it, you want it um, a little bit past uh, the black bucktail, but not quite as uh, all the way to the bottom with the gray. Now our flash is in. A couple of wraps. Secure it. Now, the last part is... A pheasant feather. This is uh, from the back end, uh, the rump part. It's these long teal colored feathers, uh, the teal colored plumage on a, a pheasant. That's what we're going to use. And you're going to tie that in up here by the tip. Uh, it's big enough. You don't need a hackle pliers or anything specialized. So we'll make sure you get the center so when you tie it in, uh, you're on the stem because you will break the barbels off real easy. What I do is, I have a little end there hanging out of the collar. I'll just give it a quick trim. And now you're going to wrap this hackle style around the collar while you're brushing them fibers back. That's it. And you don't want, um, you only want two wraps. That's all you're going to get until you get to the, the webby, fuzzy part of the feather. That's it. Once you're there, uh, you have enough. You're done. Now, we're going to trim this off. As close as we can get it. And fold these barbels back. Push them down and tie them in at the same time.
this way you build the neck up and this jig isn't going to come apart there now when we get the collar as even as we want as thick as we want in a whip finish cinch it one two three four five six we're going to trim take our head cement and there you have it <coughs> take it out of the vise see it here that is the mad tom it's a easy hair jig to tie Let's see if I can get you a better angle on it Uh, it doesn't look much, but um, doesn't look like a whole lot. But it, boy, does it really work, especially on that three thirty second ounce ball I had. Um, I hope you learned a new pattern. I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching.